Are you bored in the house? Then go do something fun like your hobby. Or better yet, you can also play some NFT games. Not only can you keep yourself entertained, the possibilities of earning real-life assets while you are playing these games are endless. Oh, already playing blockchain-based video games? Well, good for you as we have a list of blockchain games that you can try out. This list involves different genres of games so that you won't be bored of playing the same game over and over again. But before we formally head on to the list, welcome people of the internet to another episode of Crypto Cash Out, the channel that talks about everything and anything crypto. Remember that we are not financial advisors and we are not telling you to play these games because your victory is guaranteed. Always remember to get good and do additional research so that you will be better informed. Doing so will make you more informed and be updated on the current trends that are happening right now in the cryptocurrency space. Also remember that the list we are about to say is in no particular order so we are again not saying that this game is better than the one okay with that being said and out of the way on to the video Video games are really important in our world today, and the influence of the masses really increases the popularity of a certain game. For example, if a popular streamer plays an indie game, for instance, the sales for that game will increase. And if a lot of people are talking about this game, then more people will hear about it and play it. So, the first game that we are going to be talking about today is the statistically best performing blockchain game of 2021, which is Axie Infinity. If you are a fan of turn-based battle games, then Axie Infinity is the right game for you. The main gameplay is heavily inspired from the mechanics of Pokemon, minus the adventuring. The world of Axie Infinity is revolving around the monsters you obtain, creatures known as Axies. They are basically the Pokemon in this world. As the player, you can collect Axies as virtual pets and if you want to take them to battle, you must breed, collect, and raise them to their strongest form. You need to have at least three of these Axies to formally play the game and participate in battle. Winning battles will earn you rewards. There are also NFTs in the game in which Axe Infinity is currently the leader of NFT gaming. There are multiple of these such as the Axis or the Smooth Love Potion or the SLP where you can sell this in the game's marketplace. As of March 2022, the game has generated over $4.17 billion since its start. All of these sales are on NFTs. This number holds the record for third highest in all-time sales. In terms of tokenomics, the ERC-20 token of Axie Infinity, which is the AXS, is valued at around $55. Not bad. Oh, you're a fan of Pokemon but would rather play the adventuring mode? Lucky for you, we have an adventure game that will surely feed your adventuring needs. The Sandbox is a lot like the Central Land, where it offers you a 3D virtual world that gives clients the chance to purchase up to 166,000 plots of lands in the game and use them to their will in the Sandbox. The game leverages on the blockchain's capacity to make a revenue for the lands people purchase. The lands can be used for whatever the owner of the land wants it to be. To design the lands, a player must make use of Vox Edit, which is a comprehensive application that includes a modeler, animator, and an NFT maker. This application is super easy to use, but the potential to make great creations is endless. And because of the NFT maker, avatars in this game can be created through Vox Edit, which is a neat feature of the platform. Think of this game like Roblox or Minecraft, but they are based on the blockchain. Imagine creating something pretty for the world to see while earning because of how they must rent the place or something. They also have their very own token that is based on the Ethereum blockchain. It is called the Sand Token, which is valued at just over $3 at the time of writing this video. It also has a market cap of over $3.5 billion, so you know that they are one of the big names in the business. If you're not much of an adventure type of gamer and just want the game to play itself for you, then you must like those idle games. Personally, I am not much of a fan of idle games but you do you man. Anyway, Idle Cyber is the next game on the list and it has a lot of things to unpack. For starters, Idle Cyber is a combination of a post-apocalyptic environment in the future where humankind is being threatened to extinction by cyborgs. Because of this, humanity is forced to build the walls as a line of defense. That is the setting of the game. The game looks visually appealing especially if you like to see things being shot around. The play-to-earn game has 64 different characters for you to collect. The characters are divided into 4 categories and they must be strategically upgraded and placed in order to keep humanity going. As the commander of the squad called Cyber Defense, you must upgrade your mutant team of characters in order to fight against hordes of cyborgs hell-bent on eradicating humanity. 
In addition to that, there is an unlimited game mode where you can play the game for however long you want. There is also a PvP game mode which means you can climb the rank leaderboard and make a name for yourself. In addition to what is a promising game, Idle Cyber has investors that are backing it up. And these are no ordinary investors. These are companies in the likes of Starpunk, Cryptominati Capital, Raptor Capital, and Megala Ventures. Some of you may not know what these companies are, but the assurance of having multiple backers supporting a company is a relief for us players. They have also already started selling their token based on the BNB Smart Chain, and it is valued at around $0.01351. For all of you Fortnite and Battle Royale game fans out there, you also have the game right for you. The game is called Light Knight, and they are one of, if not the first game to ever experiment with Bitcoin microtransactions in the gaming industry. That is right, in this game you are able to earn Bitcoin when playing and earning rewards. It is just amazing how they are able to work with Bitcoin. Anyway, Light Knight is an online multiplayer battle royale game wherein everything you do in the platform will have an effect on your monetary rewards or penalty. What I mean by that is whenever you hit a player with a weapon of your choice, you gain Bitcoin. Neat right? However, you also must be careful not to get hit as you can also lose Bitcoin doing so. This is a great way of earning Bitcoin assuming you don't get shot too much. The neat part about this is that your balance in Bitcoin is being updated real time whenever you hit someone or get hit by them. The brilliant minds of Satoshi's games might have hit a home run with this game. The game also has some neat features such as the items you pick up in the war zone are worth real Bitcoin. There is also a marketplace where you can buy and sell in-game items in exchange for, again, Bitcoin. Lastly, if you think you want to practice on the game while still holding Bitcoin in it, there's a game mode for non-Bitcoin users. In that game, you can still play the game but not worry about losing Bitcoin. The downside of that mode is that you also don't earn Bitcoin in the event you win. Number 5 on our list, we have Battle of Guardians. The game is designed by 4 video game fans. This assures you that the game is good while still being able to make you earn money. The game is built on the Solana blockchain and uses Unreal Engine to create stunning visuals while maintaining great mechanics to enjoy it. So a game that is visually appealing while having the opportunity for you to earn money, then we have ourselves a good video game. Anyway, the game is a real-time multiplayer PvP arena fighting game where you, as the player, must duke it out with another player's Street Fighter style. You do this in order to earn rewards for the game. This is the case for the arena mode. There is also a story mode and as the name suggests, you get to know more about your character and the world building of the game. The other game mode is called the tournament mode where you queue up as 8, 16, or 32 people to compete in a knockout system. The winner will get the reward which is collected from the entrance fee collected at the start of the game. There are also NFTs in the game if you're into those things. We also have some card game fans in here so we have the perfect game for you. The game is called Gods Unchained and it is number 6 on our list. It is one of the top 3 games that is played to earn. If you love anime then you have probably heard of a show called Yu-Gi-Oh! and it is somewhat like that in the sense that you build a deck that you will take to battle with you. Apart from the traditional card games such as Hearthstone, Gods Unchained also got some notes from Yu-Gi-Oh! and made it so that whenever you win a battle, you get to take cards of the person they just defeated. You can also buy your cards if you really want to ensure your victory in the game. But again, it is not just the heart of the cards that will bring you victory, but you also must be skilled enough to outbrain and outmaneuver the opposing person. Other features include deck building and of course a native token of the game called Gods, which is currently valued at around $1.30. Next up, we have Meta Wars, and it is a game that is all about space and space exploration. This is again for you adventure game fans. It is a multiplayer strategy and fantasy game where you must engage in exploring space while earning money. The galaxy is vast and ever-changing because of community participation. The community participation is something to keep in mind if you want to play the game, as you know that the developers behind it are really listening. The game is divided into three main components which you need to keep track of and learn if you want to perform well. The first up is the aforementioned exploration. The second is fleet formation. Well, it makes sense as you cannot explore the galaxy if you don't have proper units and ships, right? The game lets you design your battalion to the best form so that you can explore space efficiently and safely from invaders. There is also a combat section for you guys to try. 
gather up your friends as you guys can work together in order to find different galaxies and complete quests in the game. When you finish the missions given to you, you can now edit the universe. Reality can be whatever you like. There are also NFTs that are auctioned in the game so make sure to participate if you are into those kind of things. They also have their own token called Wars and it is used as governance in the main currency in the game. Sport and sport game fans, where are you at? We got you. So Rare is one of those card collecting games. When I say card collecting, we don't mean those similar to Gods Unchained. But those clips you see on YouTube when someone freaks you out when they draw their favorite player from a pack. Yeah, that kind of card game. With the use of digital player cards, players are able to sell, manage, trade, and purchase the cards in order to build the virtual team that will take on other people's soccer team. The gameplay is basic. As a player, you must collect at least 5 cards that you will send out to battle other players in a soccer match. If you defeat your opponent in the match or they forfeit the match, you are rewarded with ether tokens. Not only that, but your team will also grow stronger as a result of the victory. Because of the upgrade, you can win more games and win more rewards. The cards also have differing rarities that will be the basis of its price. There are 3 rarities namely unique, extremely rare, and rare. You can claim ownership of the card and use it in games or what you can also do is sell the cards you own to other players for a fine price. Second to the last game we want to present is Splinterlands. And if Gods Unchained is more on the Yu-Gi-Oh! type of card game, Splinterlands is more inspired from the game's Hearthstone and Magic of the Gathering. Again, it is a card game that is based on the Hive blockchain and it is one of the more popular NFT blockchain games. This game rewards you with amazing prizes especially if you win the games. In order to participate, you must first buy a set of cards through Steam and log in. After that, you can start playing the game. There are interesting features of the game that you might want to take note of. One such feature is when you have multiple of the same card, you can use these cards to combine each other in order to make them stronger and gain more power. As a result of this combination, your chances of winning are increased. You can also sell the duplicates if you want for extra money. There are a lot of things you must consider when buying cards such as the faction they belong to. The card you want might be in a specific faction and they have synergy with one another and the gameplay is not as straightforward as you want it to be. You will have to master balancing your armor, mana, speed, and attack type in order for you to know if you can take on challenges along the way. Remember earlier when we talked about Axie Infinity being the biggest blockchain-based game in the world right now? Well, things may not look the same for them as a new challenger will approach to try and take that spot. The last game we are talking about today is Star Atlas and it is a futuristic multiplayer blockchain game that is set in 2620 and allows users to explore the world and what goes beyond it. In this game, you must take your ship and crew with you to space exploration and find a universe worth taking over. Once you do that, you can build a civilization out of the planet you bought. You can also mine in these planets to gather resources and then sell them in the in-game marketplace to earn tokens. Is it that easy to earn money here in Star Atlas? Of course not as you have to manage a lot of things such as your crew and keeping your ship healthy for a battle. It also does not help that there are three different factions trying to best one another for the resources of planets. But don't worry, if you have the same factions as your friends, you guys can work together to rule the galaxy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos from us, we have a video on VChain and how it is changing shopping for some people. You don't want to miss it so go check it out if you haven't already. We also suggest subscribing so you won't miss an upload from us. If you want to help us grow, one way you can do that is by hitting the like button below. Again, comment down below as to what game you guys want to play for a chance at a shoutout giveaway. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have fun gushing out.